Whoa, what's going what on? What's going on? Sith interdictor ship. They must have been waiting for us on the hyperspace route. We're caught in their tractor beam. Do you recognize the ship? It's the Leviathan. Saul Karath's vessel. My old mentor. Oh my gosh. Karth, it's getting complicated for you, bro. We're dead. In space. Oh man. I had a feeling this was gonna happen now. This is going to be interesting. Admiral Kareth taught me everything I know about being a soldier. He was a legend in the Republic fleet, and a hero to me, until he betrayed us. When the Sith attacked my home world, the Leviathan, which is Saul Kareth's flagship, was at the head of the fleet. My family was destroyed that day, and my wife died in the Sith bombardment. Don't let your lust for revenge cloud your judgment, Karth. I'm not gonna do anything stupid. I mean, I won't throw our lives away in some mad quest for vengeance, but if I get a chance to kill Saul during our escape, nobody better get in my way. Talk of an escape is somewhat premature, don't you think? We don't even have a plan to get out of this mess yet. And I'll admit, it won't be easy. Saul's no fool, and he won't underestimate us either. You can count on plenty of guards watching every move we make. Maybe Admiral Karath doesn't know how many of us there are on board. We all have special talents. Talents we could exploit so that one of us could stage a rescue. We just have to figure out who has the best chance to avoid capture so they can come and rescue us later. It's a long shot, but it's our only hope. Oh man, okay. Basil, is there some way you can use your battle meditation here? The Admiral will be watching the three of us far too closely for any plot involving you, me, or Karth to succeed. It's going to be up to one of the others to get us out of this. Well, if we're gonna pick someone to save our skins, we better do it quick. In another minute, we're gonna have Sith troops marching up our loading ramp. Okay. Uh, let's see here. Who do we want to do? Who do we want to get to do this? Spoil your healing ability, Juhani, you can use your force powers and camouflage abilities to avoid capture. A droid would have the best chance, HK-47. Sounds like a job for a Wookiee! <laughs> um, maybe Jolie could use this force to affect their minds. Camouflage and abilities to avoid capture, that's pretty interesting. T3 is pretty resourceful. Mission. It's between Mission and Juhani. I think we're gonna go with Juhani. You speak the truth. I alone of all the group might be able to remain hidden if the Sith search the ship. I could wait until the guards have completed their search, then come to rescue you. It's too much of a long shot. They'll find you. We need another plan. No, that's weird. We'll try it your way, Juhani. May the Force be with you. Hold on. They're dragging us into the docking bridge. Bastila, Karth, and the crew have been taken prisoner as you ordered, Commander. Excellent. Having to search the ship thoroughly, Admiral Karath warned me to be on alert for any kind of treachery. We searched the ship from top to bottom. Somebody would have had to be invisible for us not to find them in there. Well done. Turn to your post and I'll tell the Admiral of this. Oh boy. Karth. It has been far too long since we last spoke. I see the recent months have not been kind in your case. I barely recognized you. But I recognize you, Saul. I see your face every night, even as I promise myself I will kill you for what you did to my whole world. Did you learn nothing in your time under me? As a soldier, you should understand that casualties were unavoidable. This was an act of war. It was a cowardly act of betrayal. Your fleet bombed a civilian target into oblivion without warning or provocation, and the blood of those innocent people is on your hands. In war, even the innocent must die. The Sith would not accept me until I proved I had truly turned my back on the Republic by bombing the planet. My wife died in that attack, Saul. And for that, I swear I'll kill you. You used to be a man of action, not of empty words. 
Cling to your lust for revenge if you must, but spare me your tired threats. I've heard them all before. You're an insignificant part of these events anyway. Lord Malak is far more interested in your Jedi companions. He has great plans for them. We will never serve Malak or the Dark Side. The Sith will be destroyed, Admiral Carath, as will you if you don't turn away from this path. Your words are brave, Bastila, but the lure of the Dark Side is hard to resist. Or so I've been told. I wonder if your companion is as devoted to the light as you are. Oh, yeah. You're wasting your time, Saul. I'll never betray the Jedi. You're defiant. I'm certain Malak will find your loyalty to the Jedi amusing. The Dark Lord would probably reward me if I just killed you once and for all, but he may want to question you given the trouble you've caused him and the history between you. History? What are you talking about? You mean, oh, this can't be true, can it? You really don't know what's going on here, do you? Well, I won't be the one to deprive Malik of the pleasure of telling you himself. The Dark Lord will no doubt torture you for information and for his own twisted pleasure. Eventually, you will tell him everything. The Sith can be very persuasive. However, Lord Malik is in another sector. It may be some time before he arrives, so I suppose I will have to fill in for him until then. Activate the torture fields. Oh, man. This is why I would not want to be captured by the Sith. Enough. I don't want them to pass out before I question them. Malik will appreciate any information I can give him when he arrives. Don't waste your breath, Saul. We won't answer any of your questions. I'm sure you won't. However, we both know your friend's loyalties have proven in the past to be somewhat flexible. What are you talking about? I am interrogating you, not the other way around. You will answer <laughs> questions, not ask them. It is time to put your loyalty to the test. I doubt torturing you will gain me your true cooperation. Your will is too strong to be broken that way. However, even the strongest of heroes has trouble watching those they care about at suffering. The interrogation will begin now. Each time you refuse to answer or give me a false answer, Bastila will suffer. Ooh. Don't hurt her, I beg you. My pain is meaningless. Tell him nothing. I tire of these games. Now I want answers. On what planet is the Jedi Academy at which you were trained? <laughs> I like this is like backwards. Dantuin, it's on Dantuin. There you see Lord Vader, she can be reasonable. Jedi Academy? I have no idea what you're talking about. Persuade lie. Alderaan. It's on Alderaan. Alderaan is nothing but a planet of artisans and philosophers. There is no training academy there. You must think this is a game. Very well. This is the price of your resistance. Enough! You see what happens when you try to defy me. This first question was a test. Obviously, Malak knew the Academy was on Dantooine, and it has since been destroyed by our fleet. Dantooine is an empty graveyard now. Nothing is there but a smoking ruin and the charred remains of your former masters. No, you're lying. It isn't true. It doesn't matter whether you believe me or not. The fact remains that the Jedi on Dantooine have been eradicated, along with any hope of someone coming to rescue you. Now, tell me your mission. How were the Jedi planning on using you to stop Lord Malak and our Sith Armada? I won't betray the Jedi. Very noble. We have been sent to assassinate Lord Malak. Do you take me for a fool? The Jedi are not assassins. They would never devise such a plan. Perhaps you need a reminder of the consequences of refusing to cooperate. 
<laughs> this accomplishes nothing, Saul. We will never betray the Republic. You're a sick and evil man, Saul Kareth. Perhaps another lesson is in order. No! Ah, ah, no! I beg you, no! Mercy! No! no! I am surprised she did not pass out sooner. Rarely have I seen someone withstand such punishment and remain conscious. I see I am wasting my time here. When Malak arrives, you will learn my interrogation techniques are considered merciful among the Sith. I will leave you here in your cell with a small taste of the horrors you will suffer when Lord Malak arrives. Oh, Basil's like already passed out. Golly. Don't try to move too quickly. You might not be fully recovered yet. Admiral Carath had his guards continue to torture you even after you passed out. They tortured all of us, though you got the worst of it by far. Saul wanted them to make us suffer. He's become some sort of sadistic monster. The dark side has perverted him, Karth. Once you start down the tainted path, it leads you ever further into the depths of evil. I fear he is forever lost. No one is without hope of redemption, Basila. Yes. I suppose you're correct. Sometimes it's easy to lose sight of that hope in the face of such unbridled cruelty. But you speak the truth. I suppose I'm taking the news of Dantooine's destruction quite hard. First Taurus, now the Academy. Is there no end to the killing? Maybe Admiral Kareth was lying. believe that Saul was lying to us, but even as he said the words, I knew they were true. The Academy is gone. We should have felt a disturbance in the Force when the attack came. The fact that we did not is a bad sign. I fear the dark side is growing stronger, casting shadows our vision cannot pierce. I can only hope that some of the Jedi escaped. Rook, Vendar, Saar. I cannot imagine all of them being gone. In any case, we've lost our one place of refuge in the galaxy. None of this will matter if we don't get out of this prison before Saul gets back. Where is Saul Kareth now? Saul mentioned that Lord Malak was on his way. I think the Admiral left to prepare for his arrival and to report the results of our interrogation. It is fortunate you were able to resist the Admiral's questioning. The fate of the galaxy could be changed by revealing the slightest piece of vital information. I have to confess something. There was a moment, just a moment, when part of me was hoping you would tell him what he wanted to know. Just to make the horrible pain stop. I'm sorry, Basilo. Watching you suffer tore me apart. I know you would never do anything to intentionally cause me pain. But you did the right thing. I don't honestly know if I could have been as strong in your position. To watch you suffer like that. It might have been too much for me to bear. Did you feel that? A disturbance in the Force. The Admiral has sent his message. The Dark Lord knows we are here now. Malak is coming. Well, then we better hope Juhani busts us out of here before he arrives. Oh man, time is of the essence. I shall not be seen. Nice. Jedi. What is this? Elevator controls. Don't even know where to go. But we need to level up, so let's. Oh man, he saw me? Oh. 
We need experience points. You're frozen, boy. Check the computer. We have no computer spikes. That's silly. So I must hold on to all the computer spikes. Or we just don't have access to them because... We are on the Sith ship. Oh, prisoners! See if any of our guys are here. Who are you? Kimbanokonikgotcha. <laughs> What do you mean by rare goods? Nikaba dubaka! Patisa, patisa! Kon muli slimo poi wanga kun blizkin. Chi ita kanki chana kilikon. You're a smuggler? Ichuta! Yun patisa! Kimba nik chalora kun. How can you help me? Smilia! <laughs> Why wouldn't the Sith have confiscated something like that? Uh-huh. <laughs> No more, I get the picture. What about the rest of your crew? I'll see what I can do. Okay, we got an assignment. Might as well try and get these guys out. They're probably all crazy, but. Cannot do this. Oh, Johanne. I will try it. Cannot do this. I will try it. We're gonna open that door. First, we're gonna check the stuff. Come on, give me some items I can use. Okay, Pezak cards, absolutely. I got computer spikes though, very nice. Yay, Sith. Let us... Do that, that, then that. Force push. You force push. And we're going to slice him up. Jedi, baby. All right. Very cool. Got our stuff. See, I did this with uh, Jolie once, and he has like no clothes on, and he doesn't have any weapons. You got to find all of your stuff. So like, you have to like. 
take out the first Sith guard with in hand-to-hand -hand combat. But being Johanni, on the other hand, you don't. I think I did this with T3 as well. He was able to get past securities easily, but we should have enough computer spikes now. Um, access system commands. Open detention area. Ten spikes? Oh my gosh, really? Return to root menu. Access security cameras. Barracks. Got them. Cell block. That's where we are. Release all force fields. Eight spikes. Man. Detention area. Medical. Droid maintenance. And we can't do anything, so... Great, lost two spikes. Mm-hmm. Uh-oh. Oh, man. Get him. Come on. Oh, he's gonna be tough. What the heck? Oh, come on, don't do this. Really? Oh, gosh! Oh, what?! I'm not gonna deal with the computer, so we'll have, we'll have more computer spikes for future reference since we know that nothing's gonna happen with that. Let us... I shall not be seen. Put on our camouflage. Because we're going to be dealing with this guy. But first... Oh no. Did it really go out? Oh wow, that's so stupid. Alright, first we'll save it. And we will engage this guy. Alright, we should be better now. Nice. He's doing really good for being slowed down. Really? Okay, fine. About to say. Alright. More Sith guards. Time to blow them up. <laughs> Prisoners have escaped! Nice. Let's see what we got on hand. Just the droid bay. Aha! Very nice. Uh, decommissioned droid. I don't want to deal with that. Let us save it real quick. Anyone? Nobody? Alright. The guy already picked his pockets. No, I didn't. Eleven credits, nice. I shall not be seen. Just in case. Detention area.
Anybody here? Any Sith? This might be where our characters are. I will try. I cannot do this. Nope. Okay. Unlock aft holding cells and equipment storage. Well done, Juhani. In freeing us from the cell, you have proven yourself truly worthy of the title of Jedi. Now, if I remember the layout of the ship, our equipment should be in a storage chamber just through the north doors. After we grab our stuff, we need to get to the main bridge controls. The bridge is the only place that we can open the docking gates of the hangar where they've got the Ebon Hawk. We have to open those gates before we can fly out of here. We better get moving. I can feel the darkness of Malak's presence approaching, and I don't want to be here when he arrives. None of us is a match for the Sith Lord. We need some type of plan. Surprise and secrecy will serve us best. A small group might have a better chance of sneaking onto the bridge undetected while the others make their way down to the Ebon Hawk. Count me in, then. I've got a score to settle with the Admiral before we get off this ship. And I have a feeling I'm gonna find him on the Leviathan's bridge. I'm coming, too. It's a good idea. The others can get to the Ebon Hawk on their own, but Karth and I might need your help. The three of us will get our equipment and make our way to the bridge. The rest of you head down to the docking hangar where they've got the Ebon Hawk. You'll have to find a way to deal with the guards. Don't you worry about that. I know how to deal with the guards. They won't know what hit them. Good. Get to the equipment room, grab what you need, and get going. We'll meet you there as soon as we get those docking bay doors open. Just make sure the Hawk is ready to fly when we get there, and may the Force be with you. We still have to get our equipment. Let's go. Running around... in underwear...